ready seven days a week. We're rolling out the red carpet. Mmm, plush. <laughs> All new Wendy starts now. I'm Nina Pickett from Somerset, New Jersey, and live from the Big Apple, this is the Wendy Williams Show. On today's show, red carpet Nisa Melissa Rivers, Fashion Week's hottest trend with Robert Verde, and juicy news about Khloe Kardashian's engagement. How you doing? We're not both tall. No, we're both doing the fall thing. Oh, fall. <laughs> no, I'm not tall. She said tall. <laughs> All right, so, Nina, tell everybody why you're here. Well, on January 1st, I started a website called 52 Weeks to Find Him. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm 43 years old. I've never been married. And this is my year to find my husband. Okay. So, I, it's been 37, 37 weeks. And uh, there's some good news. And some not so good news. Well, the not so good news is that there are only 15 more weeks in the year. Yes. And out of 30 dates, you've only gotten two second dates. Four second dates. Four second dates yes. and no, no third, third dates. dates. Yeah. So where do you find the good news in that? Well, the good news is I met some really amazing men. Like, it really has affirmed my belief that there are some men out there, single men out there who want to get married, who want to be in a committed relationship. Yeah. I haven't found them yet. But 30 dates? That's more dates. That's 30 more dates than I went on last year. So I feel pretty good That's about a lot. that. And one thing that she is doing is that she's putting herself out yeah. there. And I'm having a good time. You know, it's not just about getting a ring on my finger. It's about really enjoying this journey. And yes. after a while, you know, it gets exhausting and you, you just get tired. And I just needed to find a way to make it fun and exciting. And that's what this year has been. It's been amazing. So is all the feedback on your blog positive feedback? Or people are like, you go girl? 90% of it is. And, and there are always some haters out there. You yes. know, there's always going to be. But but most of the women. Hi, haters. <laughs> Yes. You know what I'm talking yes. about. But um, most of, I get a lot of women, but I get men too. And they're all saying, you know what, either they're married and they've been where I was. And yes. they're saying, you know what, you continue to go. I was in your position and yep. you'll make it. Or I get it from single women who say, you know what, I've been sitting on the couch every Friday and Saturday night. I've been watching you and you're having a lot of fun. I think I'm going to go out there too. I so. think that your energy is, is up and good and guys love that. You look perfectly cute. I would suggest you keep doing it and take the time limit off of it and just have fun. Yeah, I, you know, I say if by the yeah. end of this year it does, I don't find him, it will still have been the best year I've ever had. So, I mean... Well, you're not going to go back into hibernation, though, are you? Well, I did say at the end of the year, there was consequences, which I really felt I needed. Um, if I don't find him by the end of this year, uh -huh. I'm going to take a year off from pursuing love. You'll be back in the game at 44? Yes. Think twice. <laughs> <laughs> After. She's cute, and we're going to help you find that man, well, too. You. Listen, Thanks. if you'd like to score a date with the fabulous <laughs> Nina, all you got to do is go to my website, wendyshow.com, for more information, and keep us updated on your progress, I will. okay? I will. Thank it's you. It's Nina, right? Nina. Okay. They spelled it hyphenetically. Why'd you well, do that in the prompter? No, no, no. That's the way. It's a city in Wisconsin. That's how it's spelled. That's how you spell your name. N-E-E. Yeah. N-A-H. -E. It's time for Hot Topics. <laughs> Trying to confuse with that spelling though it, it did throw me off and as opposed to n-i-n-a i remember when i was a kid and i wanted to be different and i started writing my name i didn't tell my parents this but i started writing my name on my papers this must have been at sixth grade j-u-e-n-d-y i-e <laughs> how you doing You guys are here, but let me just say this. You're going to be so disappointed in me, but this is the kind of girl that I am. I was too busy this weekend, and I did not watch the Emmys. I walked in and out of the room. Um, I know that they were doing the red carpet on E. I count on um, 
uh, on the red cap at Rijos this coming weekend. Plus, um, I'm too cheap to have the, the full cable in the kitchen where I was doing all my cooking, so I was not able to see the red carpet. And then the actual Emmys, um, I didn't see all of them, but I saw a lot of the highlights like many of you all did. I thought that Justin Timberlake looked cute and Neil Patrick Harris, I love, love, love him. And he was the host last night, Neil Patrick Harris. It was on uh, CBS. So Vanessa Williams, our friend to the show, she um, lost out for Best Supporting Actress, as did Stacey Morgan, Best Supporting Actor. But to me, they're both winners. Uh, you know, you, you, 30 Rock won, like, everything, including Best Comedy. Um, everybody watches Ugly Betty. And why was Victoria Raul from The Young and Restless there in a weird Barack Obama dress? <laughs> what was that, Vicky? Victoria. <laughs> certainly did get, get her um, the attention she was looking for. And I love, love, love the hair. By the way, you know, she used to date 50 Cent. And I tried to, when I, I used to have a red carpet um, series of specials on VH1. And so she walked down the red carpet alone one time and I saw Pharrell up there, you know, up the red carpet. I said, I'm going to hook you up with Pharrell, okay? And then nothing ever ended up happening. But she puts herself, she puts herself out there. Nina, and that's what you have to do. I'm trying. So Justin Timberlake won for um, guest hosting SNL, as he should have. He's always been really good, right? I, I, I like how he gets along with everybody. You know, I, if there was such thing as an ambassador for race relations, you know, in entertainment, you know what I mean? Somebody said that he had an S curl in his hair last night. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, Nini uh, from Housewives of Atlanta hosted the pre-show with Jay Emanuel and, um, from Top Model, and she had on red lipstick. And when I say it was red, it was fire, because I was walking in and out of the room. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know I was tweeting all day yesterday. I unplugged. I put, uh, did the plunger in the toilet. I made two different entrees, because I like to get my, my cooking, for the most part, done on the weekends, at least my entrees, and then I do my vegetables during the week as requested. Um, also, this past weekend was like the last full weekend, if you are like me, real anal about having everything paid by the first of the month. Do you do that? So, and I, and I love the, the feeling of after you pay the bills, like after the show today, I will take them myself to the post office. I don't pay anything online. I have my stamps, my envelopes, the bills, rip and tear, put them in the shredder, the whole bit. So I was doing that and wig repair. I went for a bike ride. Tonight is parent teacher night at the school. I was thinking of just keeping this outfit on. <laughs> Hello, teacher. <laughs> Which, P.S., I won't. I was joking. But um, parent-teacher night, I guess a lot of the parents are going through that right now. Parent-teacher night. Do you do this? Like, when I go for parent-teacher night and all the other parents are around and everything, but I always, you know, ask the teacher, okay, here's my cell number. Pull out your Rolodex if you can right now. Let's make a, an appointment. I like to go in and talk to the teacher one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes parent-teacher night, everybody is vying for the attention of the teacher. The teacher is like the president or the most popular woman in the school. You know, everybody's vying for the attention. So I like to um, um, have those little side meetings. Anyway, so how are you, sir? I'm fine, Wendy. How are you doing? Aren't you stylized today? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I wanted to comment about the Emmy looks, um, more about the hair. Yeah. Justin Timberlake was a little bit juicy. He, his hair was, was juicy. A little bit juicy, but um, more about Nene. Like, I love her on Housewives, but I'm kind of waiting for some new hair. Well, like, d did, you, did you not like her in short hair? I don't. Sometimes she has like a little finger wave going on on mm -hmm. Housewives. That's all right. Yeah. But I think the best part about being a wiggy is being able to change a hat. I yeah. Again. Well, she, she says it's not a wig. She said it was um, a weave. Oh, she does say that? Well, <laughs> that's what she says. We love you, Nini. By the way, thank you so much for my secret shout out at the Alma Awards over the weekend. The Alma Awards are, li are like, um, like the Oscars. It was it VH1 Divas? It was VH1 Divas. Oh, I've got my people confused. Uh, the Alma Awards <laughs> came on too. Shout out to George Lopez and Eva Langoria and all them. Yeah, they they co-hosted the Alma Awards on ABC on Friday night. Honors Latino achievements in television, film, sports, music. Walking in and out of the room didn't quite focus, but I did see um, some of the highlights.
By the way, you know, George Lopez is about to have a new talk show in November on TBS. I can't, he's very popular in our house. We love that George Lopez show, me and my son, and we watch that to death. And then Eva Langoria, she gives good show. She changed seven times, including her hair, which I love. Let's take a look at some of the pictures. Um, okay, here, here she is in the white dress. Do we have the white dress? Boom, bam, ow. Then um, Eva in the champagne dress. I love that. Even in the off-the-shoulder shimmer. By the way, she was styled by our guest today, Robert Verdi. There she is in the um, silver sparkly. And her stylist, Robert Verdi, is here to give us this spring. Uh, this is my favorite right here. And look how big her breasts are. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask... I'm gonna ask, you know, for you girls that sometimes, like, you don't want implants. You just wanna zhuzh them up a little bit sometimes. I'm gonna ask him how um, he does that because you know who else affects that look? Like, she's a flatsy too. Um, and I'm not saying that like that's a bad thing. But um, Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton's got like two little mosquito bites, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes she really does, you know, you know, take it there with the, however she does it. Desperate Housewives premieres though this Sunday. I can't wait. I've missed the girls. I've missed, I've missed the consistency in my Sunday nights. Like I do all my house mom stuff over the weekend and Sunday nights at nine o'clock, that's, that's absolute, you know, desperate housewives time. Okay, hi boys. Hey Wendy, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you saw uh, Drew Barrymore last night. She was wearing Monique Lelier. She looked gorgeous. I thought she looked gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes. yes. I would have loved to have seen her win the award for Great Garden. She was amazing in it, wasn't she? Yeah. She, I mean, you know, Drew Barrymore to me is one of those. I bet you she watches this show. Doesn't she seem just messy enough? Just so. messy yeah. enough. How you doing, Drew? <laughs> Next time you're in New York, stop by. Before, thank you, you guys. Before we talk about um, divas, you know, Kim Kardashian had an wardrobe emergency last night on the way to the Emmys. Um, all right, I wasn't exactly watching, but I follow her on Twitter because I follow all those Kardashian girls on the Twitter and then they follow us. And so her zipper broke and she had to be sewn into her dress. Which, Kim, your zipper broke when you were here on the Wendy show and you had to be sewn into your skirt. <laughs> and I gotta say, the dress fit her like a glove. Maybe that sew-in thing, I mean, look at that. Body down and her hair is snatched back and she just, can you ever look horrible? I mean, even, and, and the answer is no. Even when she twits and she's got absolute scrubbed face and she's taking her own Twitter picture, she might be home, she still looks beautiful. <clears throat> but I can tell you what, Miss Thing, you've got to hurry up and do something. Because if what I hear that Chloe and Lamar are married, you've yes. been engaged? Well, they were in Vegas this past weekend, right? They were the whole Vegas, family? But allegedly they're engaged. All right, here's the thing <laughs> Courtney is pregnant. And Courtney hosted the pre-show for the Emmys. Um, Kim was supposed to be there, but she was getting the wardrobe malfunction fix. Um, there was one point where Kim was the one with the man in love and that whole bit. Now, pregnant Courtney is allegedly pressuring Scott to put a ring on it and make it work. She's seven months pregnant. She looked really good last night, Courtney did. And then Chloe is with Lamar. Did we already show that picture of Lamar and, and, um, and Courtney? Yeah, it's up again. Chloe? Look how beautiful they look. He's leaning into her. Look, no, peep the body language. He's leaning into her. She's leaning into him. She's not showing her teeth, which means she's hiding something. <laughs> I took body language at Northeastern University. I, that was one of my favorite uh, courses, you know, because what is not said is often way more powerful than what is being said. Okay, so, Okay, go, go, you guys. Be happy. <laughs> All right, so look, VH1's Divas concert was on Thursday night. It was hosted by Paula Abdul, and she did a dead-on skit of Ellen. I just thought that was so great. Ellen tweeted in after. And, um, and Ellen, where's the Ellen quote? I don't have it. Here it is. Here it is. Um, Paula, you're hilarious. You've left me some big shoes to fill. Unfortunately, I don't wear high heels. Nothing but love for you, too. Yeah. You know who really shocked me as being perhaps my favorite performance at Divas? Cheryl Crow and that Miley Cyrus, and then India Irie and um, Adele. Adele. Oh my gosh. All right, so Nene, Bethany, and Kim presented an award, and Nene did the official greeting of the Wendy show. Take a look. Hey, Diva lovers, how you doing? that 
India I read it because I was thinking, why? Is, what is she going to perform? She doesn't have any new music out that that I know of. And then she performed one of my favorite songs from her. That one, because I am a queen. Like that's one of those inspirational songs, along with like, there's certain songs along that vein, that, you know, that really are like cheering songs for girls. Um, but I thought that Adele and Indy Irie, and they put their own spin on each one of their performances as they performed together. I thought they were great. And Miley Cyrus, <sighs> you know what? You're nothing but 16, and we all were. I'm not going to be so hard on her anymore. She was cute. She was doing it. And you know what? If I was 16 again and had some place to wear fishnets and, you know, <laughs> and a too fast for my own age gown, I'd probably wear it too. <laughs> My parents are going to co-sign, right? So Divas was really good. All right. So now who saw Mariah on Oprah on Friday? <laughs> I love the two guys who won the trip to New York, and they were just throwing themselves on the stage. And P.S. Mariah, I noticed all the new extra. I like it. I like it. Did, did, was I the only one who noticed that even in black, Mariah looked heavier than usual? Yeah, she voluptuous, gorgeous, right? I like the old hair. That was the first hair she was wearing when she first came to us, you know, as a famous um, person. Um, I thought that she looks great. It looks like she's... Mariah, it looks like you're getting a lot of work done to your face, though. What is that? What, what are you not going? What are, I, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I know, but I'm just saying, is this part of the weight down here, or is this fat transfer, or... Yeah, you know, just asking. But I thought, I thought you looked great, and um, I like the cat suit. But then again, that's the kind of girl I am. <laughs> All my girlfriends said that you should have, um, that it's time for you to grow up and mature. I say, keep it young. Keep it kitty. We like you like that. And apparently so does Nick. So who cares? <laughs> All right. Um, what did I just see, Brendan? Did I just see a two-minute mark, a 30-second mark? It's time to go to commercials. But we have another um, round of Hot Topics, Okay. All right, more Juicy Hot Topics up next. And we're going to call Yvette Nicole from Community and ask her how her date was. We'll be back. <laughs> On the Wendy Show, the hills are alive with the sounds of drama. We brought you Holly Montag. Now Stephanie Pratt spills on the hills. Plus, Sean Kingston performs. Someone call 911, because this show is burning up. <laughs> Next, all new Wendy. The Wendy Williams Show is brought to you by David's Bridal, your complete bridal and social occasion store. Hose is like down to here. Shout out to all the tall girls who feel my pain. So anyway, um, everybody, welcome back. Some time for some juicy, more hot topics. I wanted to show you the picture of Katherine Heigl from Grey's Anatomy. Th there she is with her husband, Josh, and their new baby from Korea. Terrific. The baby's name is Nayla. Na Na How do you say this? Nale. 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 Yeah. Nale. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute. I didn't realize that she, Catherine, has a Korean sister. Also, I want to show you another picture. Okay, this other picture is of uh, Maya, who's walking with her crazy hairstylist, or excuse me, her crazy clothing stylist. The reason that I say crazy is because, all right, first of all, you know, she's going to be on Dancing with the Stars, the new season, which begins tonight. But the stylist, and I'm sure everything was very, very expensive, if that matters. Um, but. He just looks dirty. D he, he, dirty. Dirty. Look, head to toe dirtiness. Yeah. How you doing, Maya? We'll see you tonight on Dancing with the Stars. Okay. Yvette Nicole Brown, star of the new sitcom on NBC called Community. This is the one with Joel McHale. Well, she was here on Friday um, chatting on the couch, and she told us about a blind date that she was going on right after the show. I didn't think that she meant right after, but take a look. Do you cast your line? I mean, do you date? I mean, you, you, you seem to be in circles of a lot of cool people. You know, I'm starting to date, which is awesome. And this thing tonight I'm a little nervous about, but um, I'm just going to go. It's like a blind date. Essence set it up. Like what? Essence magazine? Yeah, they're going to go through their files and find a bachelor for me for tonight. <laughs> Okay, so we have Yvette on the telephone. Hey, girl. Hey, Wendy. So, so c congratulations for making it through the date. I'm glad that you uh, called. What did you wear on your date? 
I literally wore the same thing I wore on your show. <laughs> I went right from your show right to the date, so it's like the exact same thing. And Wendy, can I say this? You know how I was proud of wearing my heels? I tripped when I saw him. Wow! Wow, like literally fell into his arms. It, I thought it was romantic. He oh. thought it was a doofus. Whatever, it happened. I like it, though, because that immediately leveled the playing field totally. for this big actress. What did he do for a living? What does he do? He's, well, he's a poet and a professor. Ooh, nice. I know. He was a really okay. nice guy. So, so I, I take it since you went right after this show that you had on your TV makeup still? I, si yeah, I did. I wore my TV makeup. I went in fully beat to this, to this date. It was amazing. Damn. Where'd you guys go? You know, it was this cute little steakhouse that was like around the corner from uh, where the Essence offices. So um, I can't remember the name of it, but they had really good sliders. And I had, Wendy, I hadn't eaten all day, and so I literally inhaled, like, three sliders and, like, a crab cake in, like, two seconds. And, he and been, what, what did he have? He had, like, tuna tartare. Like, he's real fancy, and I'm not. So he had, like, tuna tartare, and I'm, like, inhaling little burgers. It was like, oh, God, I was so embarrassed. Tuna tartare. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, Okay, so are you going to get a second date? What was it like? You know, he was really nice, and it was just great to not be invisible. Because, you know, as a, as, a, as a curvy girl, sometimes in L.A. you feel invisible. But he actually liked my curves and, you know, was really complimentary. So if I come back to New York, I'm definitely going to see him again. Oh. So where are you now? I'm in L.A. on the set of Community, and they just called me for rehearsal. And I said, I got to talk to Wendy. Y'all got to wait a minute. Now. Yes, yes. Well, tell Joel I said, how you doing? I, I and, will do that. And good luck with all the dating, Yvette. Thank you. I'll keep you posted on how things are going for me. Take care. Bye-bye. Next time, a sexier outfit. That was good for daytime talk. I know. I didn't, I didn't show nothing, huh? I got to show a little skin next time. I, I, just a little something. Just a little, maybe a little ankle. I'll give a little ankle next time. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Okay. Everybody, check her out in community Thursday nights at 9.30 on NBC. Which pregnant celebrity refuses to give up wearing her six-inch heels? You'll find out in one more Hot Topic. <laughs> most recently starred on Celebrity Apprentice, where she left with a bang. And she's here to give um, her take on the red carpet fashions and so on and so forth. Her mother, Joan, was here. Um, and Melissa had the opportunity to give Joan, her mother, a piece of her mind during her comedy roast on Comedy Central. Take a look. <laughs> Two, I haven't had much sleep. Um, I had a terrible, terrible nightmare last night that I was at my mother's funeral. The worst part was I was 75. <laughs> Please welcome Melissa Rivers. Okay, what do you have there, Melissa? Okay, first of all, my a gift for you from my mother. <gasps> these are her new favorite necklaces. So you can wear them story. together. No, you can wear them together. You can wear them separately. And these are so cool. Look at this. And you take them and you just twist them. Into I've anything. seen her sell these on. Uh, yeah, these uh, are, but these are for you from her. She, made, she called me this morning to make sure I'd bring them. Oh, thank you so, there so you go. much. Because I can't give you hair. That, <laughs> I mean, because my hair is attached to my head. Yeah, well, look, this is another thing. Thank yeah, you, Joan. Um, and I'm keeping these. I'm not giving, to, giving them to my mother. Can I have that? Who's got the similar. <laughs> you used to have one of these. I did. We'll talk. We'll, we'll get All that. All right. First of all, it's great to finally meet you. Well, thank you. And second of all, you know, Melissa is probably one of the only women in Hollywood who doesn't wear <laughs> hair extensions. extensions. Because my mom popped hers out and gave them to you. Yes. And I'm like, well, that's nice because, you know, I'm raised, you always bring a hostess gift. Yes. You never go to someone's house empty-handed. It's just rude, even if it's just, you know, something small. Yes. And I'm like, when I do cut my hair, I can't do that. But it's beautiful. Well, thank you. But I so, she, so this morning, she's like, make sure she called me. She's out of town. She's on QVC. So she's like, make sure you take Wendy the gift. Do you want a drink? Absolutely, please. Oh. Here, cheers to you and your mom. Thank you. And uh, it's still in the morning here in New York. Mm, but it smells Although good. it's drink 30 someplace. Exactly, I'll have little, a sip. little nouveau sip. Mm. How is it? It's, it's wine and vodka. Oh, it's good. Uh, yeah, say. 
Well, and you were talking about parent teacher. I that tomorrow night's parent teacher. Cooper, for me. your Cooper, your boy is eight. The, okay, mine's nine. Right. And so, and he's your only, and Kevin's my only. Also, aren't you glad you have a boy though? Yes. Well, there'd be a lot to explain. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the plastic surgery for one. Yeah. You know, um, inappropriate and appropriate dressing for another. Exactly. Now, Melissa, unbeknownst to what people think, you're just a Botox girl. You don't, you, you haven't gotten stuff done. No, and you know, it all became such a big deal during The Apprentice, and the joke is, you know, show me someone in that cast who hadn't seen the better end of a Botox needle. Yeah. You know, and, they, and, and what's her face? I can't remember her name. <laughs> Made such a big deal out of it. And it's like, I do my crow feet and my, my lines on my forehead, just like everybody else. Maintenance, you put lotion on your face, and I've had my boobs done. Yeah. Because after I had my son, I was not, I was pretty flat chested to start with, uh -huh. and I was bent over in the shower shaving my legs about yeah. a year after I had my son, and I was like, this is absurd. Yeah. This is absolutely like, it was like chicken cutlets. I'm like, it's disgusting. Especially when you can do something about it. Right. So just, you know, I went to a B. Now, do you go to your mother's surgeon or do you, I mean. No, actually a girlfriend um, from college did my boobs. You know, it's just good to have friends in the right place. She's a great plastic surgeon. I'm like, Lise, you know, I need some help. And like, yeah. I want them, you know, and it's like people say, well, it's not natural. And I'm like, well, you know what? They are, I want them back where God intend them to be because that's, they, that's where they were when I was 18. Yeah. So it is natural. Just put them back where they were. God wanted them there at one point. You mentioned college. I always wanted to know about your education. You're a New York girl. Like, did you go no, to No, I'm an L.A. girl. You're in L.A.? You were raised in L.A.? L.A. since I was three. Wow. I thought you were a New, New York no, girl. No, everyone thinks that. Where'd you go to college? University of Pennsylvania. So you came back here to go to college. Yeah. <laughs> did you graduate? Yes. Was it tough? I know everybody. Yes, but I had a good time. But uh, I did a semester on didn't team, we as, all? as we all say, Team Act Pro. Yes. I did a semester in academic probation. We all did. If you didn't, yeah. if you didn't do a semester in college in academic probation, you didn't have enough fun. Now, no, it's, it's true. Okay. So now, back to. Um, you and your love life. Uh, <laughs> Back to it. Your, well, because we were gonna. I was yes. gonna briefly mention. Okay, so I'm divorced. Yes. You're divorced I'm from single Cooper's mom. dad. You're, you're, yes. You're a single mom, and he's now on his second divorce. Oh. And has a baby with the, I guess it would be Cooper's ex stepmother. Yeah. But the mother of his half sister, and he has a new girlfriend who's 20. But now oh. here's the amazing thing, we get along. We all get along better now. Than any of us ever did when any of us were married to I'll each clap other. To that. It's I'll like clap perfect to that. dysfunction. That's a good one. Yeah. I get along with the ex-wife. I get along with the girlfriend. I get along with my ex-husband. So now you have a new boyfriend. And I have a boyfriend. And I've never seen because I look in life and style. I'm always looking for pictures, and I was trying to look to see if I saw Jason's his name, Jason. right? Uh, so how long have you been with him, Melissa? I guess it's about. I mean, the hair is very Beyonce today. Thank you. It's very big. It is, but I like it for parent teacher. Root realness. But I like it for parent teacher. Oh, please. <laughs> my roots are showing so badly right now. Look, um, um no. Okay, uh, no, we've been, we've been very private. But I've always been very private about it. I live a very different life than my mother. Yeah. Because hers is very out there. We love that though yeah. about about her. Yeah. And and I love you guys' relationship. Now, I understand that your boyfriend though is a hedge fund guy. So um, he well, he works at a hedge fund in the mornings. Uh -huh. But last October, when the everything went in the toilet, mm -hmm. they came to him and they said, well, you have a choice. You can either cut your salary in half and become an equity partner, mm -hmm. or you can go find a new job. And he said, you know what? I would love to be an equity partner. And he was a professional tennis player for a while. So he went back and started teaching a little bit of tennis, and that's how we met. Would you get married again? You know what? When people ask me that, I lose sensitivity in my limbs gotcha, and gotcha. my extremities. Do you want more children? I think, well, I'd love to have more children if I didn't have to be pregnant. Yeah. So, you know, again, that's that, like, that's that hitch in it. Again. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But then, that marriage thing is like, you know, I can't, the walls close in, can't feel my hands. You seem to have a really good relationship with your mother. Um, and, and you guys really just were, to me, the dynamic duo, legendary red carpet workers. Thank I you. miss I miss you guys. Oh, thank you. I, I, I still miss you. You know, so, you got to leave the party while the party's still good. Yeah, you, you got to leave the party. Yes. And now, you know, it's, it, I it's mean, different. It, it is it's different. It's different. It's not as exclusive as it was when we were doing it. You guys did make it feel real special. So last night were the Emmys. Yes. And who did you love? Who, well, did, who did you love? I, well, first of all, because I, I was following you on, I follow you on Twitter. Twitter. Uh -huh. And I'm on Twitter. Uh -huh, okay. But I'm not Melissa Rivers. I'm Mel Rivers oh. on Twitter. So if anybody cares. But I think I had the wrong one because I had no idea you were cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. All I'm watching is like the updates of the show. I'm so confused. Anyway, yeah. when I, I was on a plane. So I only got to look at some photos this morning. When uh, when I got here, I thought that uh, I know we have a picture of Christina, Christina Applegate. Applegate. Amazing. She always looks really pretty. She has she? such a great sense of style. And 
is such a lovely person. She seems like she'd be, she's like a far, she well, was we did a spin class together. Oh. And she's hilarious. She's oh. hilarious. Okay, so who else do we have? Blake Lively in Versace. Okay, beautiful dress, but why is it such a beautiful, fresh, young girl dressing so much older? There's times that she can wear that. Very hoary. I yeah, love it. I know. I do too. I love but, it. But it's like, you're, she's young and fresh. It's like you want to. She's, she's just like a desperate woman in her late 30s. Yeah. Yeah. And she's, or 40s. Whatever. 50s in some cases. Yeah. yeah. Or 50s claiming to 30s. That's Look, Hollywood. There, there's nothing wrong with it, but I, I think, uh, yeah, it, it is kind of va va boom. Hey, I always heard you can't wear red on the red carpet. Of course you can so wear red on the red carpet. You can wear anything you want. You can wear any, if you, believe me, if you're a big enough star, you can wear anything you want. Do, do we have to go into the break? Oh, damn it. Oh. All right. Well, because one of my, one of your, uh, the question was going to be originally, do you, why don't you do the red carpet anymore? Yes. I'm like, because I have to deal with people like this. And it's supposed to be a picture of Char Jackson. Yeah. He was actually walking the red carpet last well, night. Well, Char was there. Yeah. I couldn't figure out why. Nor could I, exactly. It's like. And what is she wearing? I don't know, but why was Char Jackson there? She needs press. Why? No, seriously, it's supposed to be a night about honoring television and you're working television. I don't get it. Well, she's going to be in Celebrity Fit Club again. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Melissa's working on a book about red carpet experiences. Yes, and it comes out on uh, February 2nd. And when, when, please make sure that we... I will. I think you'll really enjoy the book. It's about the fact that a red carpet moment doesn't have to be on the red carpet. It's anytime the spotlight, good, bad, or indifferent in your life is on you and how to handle those situations. Got it. I want to thank you for being thank here. Thank you so it much. It was so nice to meet you. Come back when your book comes out. Please do. Okay. Up next, everybody, we've got fashion trends you don't want to miss from New York Fashion Week. It's so nice. Oh. on Wendy, the all-inspiring Ruby. She's lost 300 pounds on her own show. See how she looks now on our show. Plus, she played Moesha's mom, Cheryl Lee Ralph. We to the N to the D to the M. Wednesday on Wendy. We're back. So every fall, New York City's Bryant Park turns into a fashion frenzy. The hottest designers from around the world showcase their line for the spring. And here to give us a front row look at what we want for spring of 2010 from Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week is style expert Robert Verdi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Robert, um, sometimes you say, you say the name, they don't know who that is, but yeah. as soon as you see the bald men with the sunglasses, yeah, exactly. that has been your signature since forever. Yeah, since I started in TV. I, I just think they make me look less bald. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's like an affectation, but I, I just, I'm really bald if I don't have them on. Would you like a wig? <laughs> yeah, I need a wig. This is no. my version of a wig. You know what? Um, and you've been styling Eva Langoria forever. For five years now, I've been working with Eva. And you do an amazing job Thank with her. Thank you. So nice. I love this dress yeah. right here. Oscar de la Renta. Is it? Yeah. Now, and what have you done with her boobs? Do you see how big they are? Do you see how big she's they are? She's a 32A. Are? Is she? She's tiny, yeah. You want to really now? Here. I, yes. I'm a, uh, how do you... Here are her boobs. Um, oh, 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 oh! Wow! Um, any, girl, any girl can get this. Here what you, here's what you do, girls. You have to get this kind of... You know, a lot of girls try these bras that don't always do it. So yes. You, you slap them on the side, and you pull, pull them together. Gotcha. And woo! Oh, 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 you can I, get some stuff in there. And so now you know, because that right there looks like a nice handful, you know? I mean, compared to what she normally has. Yeah, and I love, she's tiny. Yeah, she, how tall is she? She's 5'2", 96 pounds, and she's never done anything to alter her. I mean, she's a natural, I like her. gorgeous beauty. Who else do you style? Um, I work with Kathy Griffin, Kristen Wiig. Um, I've worked with Fantasia, Hugh Jackman, Terrence Howard. I do men and women. All right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. You brought us some video from the hottest shows yep. uh, for Fashion, fashion Week. Fashion yeah. Week. This is showing us what's hot, everybody, for um, the big spring trends. Yeah. 2010. Yeah. Let's take a look. I'm going to see Marc Jacobs first. Okay. Everybody wants to know what Marc Jacobs is doing. There was kind of Ruffles. Like this, this definitely a huge trend with Ruffles. There was this kind of G.I. Jane, geisha girl kind of thing happening on the runway with him. You saw undergarments as outer garments like Madonna did in her heyday. Um, oh, the belted, belted jacket's big. 
What is that at the bottom? What is this at the top? This is all. Those are shoes, and that's a head. But, but what is this? <laughs> and, and the stuff. In what is this? I think it's just a skirt. You mean, what's it made out of? Yeah. It, it's layers of like frilly ruffles. Okay. Yeah, it's sometimes, like lettuce like. You know what? Sometimes when we look at um, fashion shows, we can keep it going, Deb. Sometimes when you look, look at fashion shows, you tend to want to take things too literally. But this jacket by itself. I'm yeah, sure that's what you have to do. You have to actually take the cues. You know, the designer is showing an expression of what they are they are feeling that season. But what you need to do is just take the cues, the fabrics of the season, the silhouette of the season, transparencies and cutouts now, are huge. Mark Jacobs, Michelle Michael Obama. Kors now. Excuse me, Michael Kors, Michelle Obama loves loves and wears all the time. No, freeze. Asymmetry. Okay, asymmetry is still in for spring. I love it. It's a modern version of the shift dress, which yes. is really exciting, this and is it has exciting. a zipper over the shoulder. It's a little edgy. Uh huh. Michael Kors has a way of actually keeping the American Keep tradition and fashion of, of making great sportswear, but makes it incredibly exciting every season. And he does some affordable stuff as well. Very Everything affordable. Everything is not, you know, so over That's the a big trend, incidentally, the wristlet. You're going to see it on every runway. The wristlet, I, and I see the exposed zippers. The, so the zippers, and again, as, again, asymmetry. You're going to see a lot of asymmetry. And the classic shift, there's a version of it, and acrylic jewelry is back. Oh, yes! You know, freeze, freeze. <laughs> on Chanel Iman. Yeah, Chanel Iman. <laughs> <laughs> this, she was with uh, Ryan Leslie at one point. I don't know whether they're still together. He's a singer. She's um, a hot new face in modeling. But the Lucite jewelry lasted for about a year. Yeah. And I bought all this Lucite jewelry, and then I put it away. You're like me. You and keep it. And bring it back out. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Bring it back. Love this it. is the time to bring it back. Okay, what is Fabulous. this? Fabulous. This is Perspex. So this is actually one of the really popular things this season. We're seeing a lot of cutouts. I mean, You're that's an incredibly sexy version of this. It is. Okay, Hermé Leger dresses, the bondage dresses. The bondage dresses. Um, some would say they're over. More woven. You see, it's very intricate this season. It's not just the bandages that we're used to okay. seeing. Okay. And it's very neutral. We're used to seeing these in color. You're going to see and, that the palette's very spare. And they're very short. They're very short. That's what this girl is a party goer. She's a oh. club. She's a, she's a girl who's in clubs all the time. She's always looking for a date. She's looking for a guy who has more in his pocket than the guy she's sitting at dinner with. Oh, okay. A gold And I love her. And I love her, I too. Love look her. at her. I want to be her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at Max. How do you say? Ezra? Max Azria, yeah. Uh -huh. There's the cutout. Yeah, cutouts again. So a lot of peekaboo details. Really spare palette in his oh, collection. Tote black and white. And then very simple, straight lines, body skimming, not tight. Falls away from the body. Okay. Where's, where, where are the colors that we're supposed to be looking for? I know you said a lot of neutrals. Yeah, a lot of neutrals for the spring. And we actually, there's, there's like this peekaboo blue that's co that's coming. Um, a lot of blue on the runways. Yes. In all various shades of turquoise, royal. That seems to be the popular color with all the designers this season. Uh -huh. Again, the cutouts. The cutouts. Yeah, and it, see, it's all beaded around the perimeter. Uh-huh, uh -huh. So that was kind of the, the, the mood there. And very neutral I love and spare. This. It's great. A handkerchief asymm asymmetry okay. at the bottom. Okay. Um, or crop pants, uh, like what's the jeans look, what are the There's shorts? There's no rule, you have to wear what looks good on your body and the okay. great thing is that all designers create a really huge variety within their own individual collection so that all women can actually be satisfied. Nod to Mad Men with the uh, the sort of 1940s glam. Yeah. Here, here's a nod to Katherine Hepburn. Sexy clothes that are tailored after menswear. Badgley Mishka's collection was based on Havana in the 1950s so it's gotten, kind of got a socialite uh, feeling that, you know, she was she risk woman traveling around the yeah, world. Now I see lace, lace. This kind of cut out and reassemble, then this isn't really a, the, the best example of it, but there is a lot of collaging, different dresses put together. Um, ruffles again, very popular. Ruffles, ruffles, ruffles. Now yeah. if you are a, um, a larger breast woman, yeah. Um, like myself, I have the ruffles up here today, and yeah. I don't know how this is reading on TV. It but looks it fabulous. Did. I saw it backstage on it, the monitor. It does. My yeah. boobs don't look you too bad. You always big. look good, Wendy Williams. Well, thank you, Robert. <laughs> uh, and I want to thank you for being here as well. Listen, if you would like to, uh, if you would like to take a look at fashion videos, uh, go to my website, wendyshow.com. Robert's provided us with them. Thank you so much You're for being welcome. here. You're very welcome. Thank you. Ask Wendy is next. <laughs> If you're in the New York City area and you'd like to be a part of my live studio audience, go to wendyshow.com for free tickets. I'll see you soon.
Wendy. Thank you, audience. I get a lot of questions, by the way, about my clothes. You can always go to my website, wendyshow.com, for the details. How are you? I'm fine, Wendy. Good. I have a friend who, when we go shopping, she always wants to buy the same things that I pick out. And then... Of course. You've got great taste. Look at <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But then she beats me to the punch and will call me a few days later and say, by the way, that party we're going to this weekend, I'm wearing those fabulous earrings that I bought like yours. What would you respond to that? I would tell her. I mean, you know, straight, no. straight talk, like we say on the show, makes for straight understanding. And I think that um, you can um, say it very nicely without ending the friendship, but that's not fair. Why do you go shopping with her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you know... I know. I'm going to make up excuses from now on. <laughs> oh, you know what? You do light shopping and heavy lunch. Yeah. See, I love... Or I don't buy anything. Yeah. Or, or you don't buy anything. <laughs> exactly. And then, yeah. and then you also don't point out what you love, and then you go back and you buy it. That way, if you do it that way, you'll never have to say anything to her. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. Oh, wow. Closed captioning for the Wendy Williams Show is brought to you by... Okay, so we're back, and it's still Ask Wendy. How are you? How are you doing, Wendy? How are you doing? I'm good. Mm -hmm. My name's Heather. I'm 28 years old. My question is, I have a seven-year-old daughter. I live above my parents. Every time I go out or do anything, they're always calling me. Why is she wearing that? Why is she doing this? Where are you going with her? Then my mother parades her around like it's her child. And then they won't watch her. And I don't know how to approach them without my mother having a stroke. So your mother has a difficult time looking after her when you go out socially. Right. Um, and, and, but when she is looking after her and you're not around, she, it's like plays, it's her, it, she plays it off. Takes like it to get her nails done like it's her little child. People ask. And she doesn't say she's the grandmother at all. <laughs> I mean, this is difficult. I don't think that what you're talking about is anything that we all haven't been through as mothers at some particular point in some carna in incarnation of our, our mothers wanting to do it better than us. If I were you, I would plan on moving as soon as you can get, <laughs> as soon as you can get it together. And that might be uh, this year, it might be next year, it might be a year after. But I think the first part of doing separation with your parents and owning your own life is to not live under their roof, even if you're paying them money. Right. You know? All right. Oh, Thank gosh. You so much. I wish you well. Thank All right. We'll be right back with one more hot topic next. great time here. If you'd love to be a part, you know what to do. Go to my website, wendyshow.com. The tickets are free. The fun is all hour. It's wonderful. All right. We've got time for one more hot topic. Earlier, I was asking you which pregnant celebrity refuses to give up wearing her seven inch heels. And the answer is Heidi Klum. She's seen here with Seal. And Heidi says that she will continue to wear her heels until well, she gives birth, and then that's going to be in three weeks. But you know what? Heidi's been wearing heels since forever, so if anybody knows how to work seven inches and pregnant, it's her. Okay. Tomorrow on the show, Stephanie Pratt from the Hills is here, along with a hot performance from Sean Kingston. I love you for watching. See you next time on Wendy.